Hi, okay, welcome back with lesson 13. We have the masculine and the feminine nouns, okay? Um, let's have a look at the masculine and feminine nouns for people, okay? So let's go. Actor, uh, masculine, feminine, we have actress, okay? So I'm going to read the masculine first and then the feminine. Uh, so, actor, actress, author, authoress, duke, duchess, boy, girl, bridegroom, bride, brother, sister, conductor, conductress, man, woman, father, mother, god, goddess, or goddess, Emperor, Empress, Grandfather, Grandmother, Heir, Heiress, Hero, Heroine, Host, Hostess, Husband and Wife. Okay, now here for animals, these are, these are words for people, but for animals I really like it because it's a bit different than most languages and cultures. For example, in English you have the um, general term of the animal, okay, to describe what animal it is, and then you have the name for the female of the animal, and you have the name for the male animal, okay. So for example, now this is an exercise for you to do, and I want you to put uh, in the bottom you have to fill in the correct form of the female okay because here we have the general term of the animal we have the masculine we have the feminine but i will give you an, ex uh, an example for example the general term of the animal horse horse everybody know okay that's the horse but the masculine name of a horse is a stallion stallion feminine uh gender of the horse is mare Okay, not mayor, but mare. And that goes for these animals. So let's have a look. We have rabbit, masculine, buck, feminine. You have to fill it in. Horse, stallion, sheep, ram, pig, boar, chicken, rooster, duck, drake, cattle, bull, goose, gander, fox, Fox, it doesn't change. Tiger, tiger for masculine does not change. And same thing for lion. Lion, the uh, animal lion for masculine is lion as well. But you know, in most cases from feminine, it does change. So the answers is down, uh, it's in the bottom. So you just have to put it in the correct places. Um, and then we have some examples as well that we can use for both males and females regarding to people. So, for example, baby, you don't say, you know, you can use for both uh, female and male. You can say baby boy, baby girl, bird, child, a boy child, a girl child, child, companion, a comrade, cousin. Dancer, deer, that's an animal. Friend, uh, guardian, guest, infant, owner, parent, passenger, president. Now this is funny because in Brazil uh, our last president was a female and we never had the term of presidenta, okay? Because it's always been president either for men or male or female. Now, it's the same as saying president for, you know, uh, male and female, and you put presidente or presidenta, you know. So, things could change in the future as well. Pupil, relative, singer, student, uh, swan, teacher. Okay, so teacher, I am a teacher, but Robert is also a teacher. I don't know who Robert is, I'm just, you know, giving an example, but he's a teacher. Uh, 
<laughs> so you have to describe if it's a male or a female in some of these nouns, okay? Uh, so good luck with the exercises. I think it's quite fun because, you know, you, you will learn something different. And on exercise... Ooh, let me go down. Exercise 14, we're going to have a look at the possessive forms. Okay, this is fun as well. We're going to be doing some exercises. So thank you and I'll be with you next lesson. Bye.